Okay, hi guys. I know I'm really close up and really like weirdly angled, not angled, like framed or whatever. I am doing today uh, my eyebrow routine, which I know in my head at least I've been wanting to do on the channel for a while. So I decided just to do it today while I'm getting ready for work and I have some extra time. Um, I conveniently keep my eyebrows till the end, so I kind of allowed myself the opportunity to do my face and then do my eyebrows last. Um, so pretty much it's just going to be like a talk through and I'm going to show you everything that I do and what I use. So here we go. Okay, the color that I use currently for my eyebrows is an Urban Decay color. It's called Secret Service. Um, it's just like a dark um, chocolatey brown color. Um, my hair is, has a little bit of red in it, but I would never, ever, 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 ever put a red toned brown in my eye on my eyebrows. Just because I know that won't end up well. Most people um, can like tell you that putting red tones in your brows will never really end up well. Let's just see. It's called Secret Service. Um, just like a dark matte chocolate brown. Um, I used to use the color Naked, also by Urban Decay, on the inner part of my brow. And then Secret Service just on the arch and the like tail part. But I have since just moved to all Secret Service just because I like the way it looks better. The brush that I use is uh, the Sigma Small Angle E65 brush. Um, I would actually prefer to get maybe a possibly bigger one. Um, but this has been what I've been using for like a year. So, yeah, I've been filling in my eyebrows for probably a year and a half, and I used to use a pencil, and then I used to, I did the powder thing, and then I went back to pencil, and it was just a mess, and I finally have found out, like, what works the best for me, and what I'm, like, the best at applying, and what I like the look of the best, um, so I feel like I can finally actually make a video about it and talk about it, um, so yeah, just really, it's just this powder, which is just an eyeshadow, and this brush. So, let me see. The first thing I do, without any, no like wet brush, just regularly putting the brush in the color, I start off with the arch. Now, when you're doing your eyebrows, you want to make sure that you have a very relaxed face, just like you will if you're like staring off in the distance, like, or like zoning out or something, just so you don't like paint yourself an expression, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, so just keep your face very, very um, relaxed and going to start with this arch part. See, I'm just bringing a little bit more color because if you um, on the top because if you see right here, this part of my eyebrow is a little bit higher than the rest and I actually like that height, so I kind of bring the rest of the eyebrow to match that. So, I go like that and I add some color up there and then I link it all together. Just like that. Now sometimes if I want like a really distinct brow, I will put like either a water or like Fix Plus or something on my brush to make the line a little bit more um, to find. But for my everyday look, I don't do that. Okay, now next I go in underneath the arch and I fill that part in. Just, oh my hair, sorry. Okay, just like this. And then I fill that entire part in. Just like that. Okay, next part, the tail. I take the brush and put it where the arch is, but I keep it at the exact angle that my tail is gonna be. And I literally just draw a line down and a little bit past where my hairs actually end because I like my brow to look a little bit longer than it actually is. And I just draw a line. And then I go in and I fill in the areas on top and on the bottom, which there usually really aren't that many it just like that and if that line gets too thick I literally just go like this with my finger and like pinch on the other side and clean it up a little bit there we go okay now for the inner part you don't want it to be as dark and as intense as the outer part just because it'll look more fake that way you want it to feather in and kind of be faded in and lighter in the middle but what I do is I take just a regular amount of product on the brush and I draw a line underneath where I want it to, like from the start of my brow connected to where I have been putting the color already. Just so there is some definition and shape there, but not too much. 
Then I take a spoolie, which I, okay, everyone talks about these dang spoolies, and I had the hardest time finding them, and then finally at work one day I saw that we had like a million of them, so I took like five. Um, sorry, Victoria's Secret. If you want your spoolies back, I guess I can give them back. Um, but yeah, I took some spoolies, and then I was walking through Lord and Taylor one day, and Clinique had some spoolies, and I was like, I need to just grab some, a, bun a bunch of these. But yeah, um, I'm actually going to grab another one. And what I do is I kind of um, brush upward over that color that I just laid down, just to make it not so harsh and keep it um, concentrated in its color, but just not a sharp line like underneath my brow. Then I take a little bit more color and I lightly bring it in, starting from the outer part, going in to my brow, feathering it in with little brush strokes just like this. This brow is actually like a much like easier brow to do everything on. So I'm definitely going to show you how I do on um, the other one. And I have a little bit too much product right here, so I'm going to... Okay, so that's what it'll look like before I take a, no, the spoolie one more time. And I just brush it out just to blend all the color and take a little bit of color off. I used to use this Eco Tools brow like brushy thing and that actually took a little bit more color off a little bit better. But I like the way that the spoolie really grabs onto every single hair and brushes through it. And now I'm just going to brush through it and kind of get it in its general direction that I want it in. Then I'm going to go do my other brow. Okay, now the same exact thing. Starting with the arch just like this. This brow um, is much sparser than my other one, and it also, um, well I guess it's just more sparse, and it's just like a more difficult time to do it, so I feel like this is going to be a better um, example for what I do. Um, I'm going to do this one a little bit more quickly, so you can see how I do it just like on the regular. So now I go down that arch, and see I need to spoolie this one out, just so they're all kind of in the right direction, and I can see where that tail is going to go. If you can see, there's a lot um, more like skin showing through on the inner part of this brow. Um, it's just the way that they are, because obviously uh, no two brows are, the, or no like two brows are the same. So um, I have to be much more careful with how I apply the product um, onto this brow. I'm gonna do the same thing with that line and kind of blend it upward, but I still need there to be a shape. So I need to make sure that there's still a good amount of product right there. Just a tiny tiny bit to allow to again show that shape and then I'm going to very 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 lightly with not very much product at all on my brush um, do those little brush strokes in and just kind of blend out with my brush and blend all that color in so I can get as little as possible just like that now I'm gonna use the heck out of the spoolie ready it's just going to go forever and ever until it's blended perfectly and I am okay with how it looks. Okay, now see how the tail is a little bit lighter on here? I'm actually going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus or you can just wet it or you can lick your brush, whatever you would like. I'm going to wet it a little bit and dip it into the um, eyeshadow and kind of define it a little bit better. I think I over plucked a tiny bit so that may be why it's so sparse and like light colored. Now I'm going to take a clear gel, um, it's a mascara, it's the Great Lash, it's literally like I've had it for ages. I put, used to put like an old brown eyeshadow in it to kind of tint it but that doesn't really do anything. Um, so yeah, it's just the Maybelline Great Lash clear mascara. And I put that through. Now usually I do my eyebrows um, after I do my eye makeup and before I do my face concealer and stuff um, because I put this gel in and I need it to have, it needs some time to dry. Um, I want it to be able to 
dry up and kind of set its shape before I go through with the spoolie one last time to kind of um, make it look like it's not completely gelled on but it still has like some support if you know what I mean okay so for video's sake I'm just gonna stop right now and then come back in a couple of minutes while the gel when the gel is dry and then um, spoolie it all out okay now I'm just gonna take the same exact spoolie that I've been using this whole time and I'm going to just brush out that gel now that it is dry and keep all my brows in the direction that I want them to be in and once I do this my brows probably are as good as gold for the rest of the day. They aren't very um, unruly. I'm very happy about that. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope it helped you out. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or want to say anything and I'll respond to all of you. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It'll help me out a lot. And subscribe to my channel if you've not yet. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!